It's a mystery that's thrown Europe's poorest nation into a deep crisis. Nearly one billion has vanished from three of Moldova's leading banks, much of which are passing through UK companies. A confidential report has blamed 28-year-old Elon Shore for allegedly stealing the money. Now Shore, he's come out swinging in a BBC interview, proclaiming his innocence. Meanwhile, the Moldovan officials, they're left scrambling to replace all of this stolen money. You know, Nick, we have uh, citizens that are angry, farmers, blue-collar workers that are missing their money, uh, storming uh, Moldovan capital and demanding that they do something. And in the meantime, this man, he's on a PR blitz saying, I had nothing to do with it, although he was the chairman chairman of one of these banks, um, the independent firm that they had hired, the Moldovan government had hired to go after and find where this nearly one billion had gone, it's all traced back to him, the company Kroll, they placed him under house arrest, he's saying he didn't do it. Wow, it's unbelievable that one man alone can threaten an entire country and throwing it into a crisis, that's just unbelievable. But you know, this kind of stuff happens all the time, just not in the form of a blatant bank robbery. For example, government officials who are corrupt, even presidents, uh, South Africa's president Jacob Zuma is famous for updating his house, the security updates. He spent up to $20 million on what he called security updates. Now, one of those security updates, get this, was a swimming pool. In case the house catches on fire, you have what he called a fire pool. Everyone can jump in there, and that'll stop you from, from burning. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's corruption, and it's just such selfish people, but it happens all the time. You're right that it happens all the time, but particularly disgusting in this case because Moldova is one of the poorest countries in Eastern Europe. They're not an EU member state. They were formerly of the Russian Federation. Now they don't belong to anyone. So if they have this collapse because all of this money is gone, who's going to bail them out? Right. Well, they do have a safety net. They have close ties with EU, but they also have close ties with Russia. Now, Moldova's kind of in this place now where they're kind of deciding. They have two paths they can take. They can go the eastern route. They can go the west route and stay with Europe. I mean, make closer ties with Europe. So Maybe something like this could actually force them to make a quicker decision because I'm sure Russia would be more than happy to will, uh, help them out. I'm sure Europe would also want to help them out so that they didn't go with Russia. The last thing they want is another country in Europe Russia, uh, siding with Russia. So, yeah, this could be an important time. We'll have to see what's going to happen here. I'm sure the Russians would love to help them out, too. Uh, we'd love to know what you think about this story. Did Elon Shore actually steal this money? Uh, please log on, post your comments below about the situation. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel, The Lip TV 2.